Hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel and this video is the second part of the most commonly asked Palo Alto Firewall interview questions and answers. So without wasting much time let's begin. 1. Palo Alto is a stateful firewall. What does it mean? Answer. A stateful firewall means all the traffic that is transmitted through the firewall is matched against a session. Also, each session is matched against a security policy as well. 2. Palo Alto is touted as the next generation firewall. What are the reasons for this? Answer. Palo Alto has everything that is needed to call it the next generation firewall. It has an intrusion prevention system. It also has application control features. In terms of delivery, it is much different from other vendors. It delivers the next generation features using a single platform. 3. What is the advantage of Palo Alto's Single Pass Parallel Processing (SP3) architecture? Answer. The following are the advantages of Single Pass Parallel Processing (SP3) architecture. 1. High throughput and low latency. 2. Active security functions. 3. Provision of single and fully integrated policy. 4. Easier management of firewall policy. 4. Why use Palo Alto networks together with my Splunk? Answer. Palo Alto provides the visibility that is needed by Splunk to provide actionable and usable insights. Both Palo Alto and Splunk work together to keep the network secure. 5. What is the difference between PA200 and PA500 and the higher models? Answer. Activities such as signature process and network processing are implemented on software in PA200 and PA500. However, the higher models contain a dedicated hardware processor. 6. Security policy rule contains addresses where NAT policy applies. Which address needs to be used in the security policy? Answer. You need to use the pre-NAT address and post-NAT zone. 7. When is U-turn NAT applicable? How to configure it? Answer. When there is a need for the internal resources on a trust zone to access DMZ resources using public IP addresses of an untrusted zone, the U-turn NAT is applicable. 8. What is a TAP deployment mode? Answer. The TAP deployment mode is the one which allows monitoring of traffic passively across the network. It uses a TAP or switch span mirror port for this purpose. 9. What is virtual wire deployment mode? Answer. In the virtual wire deployment mode, the firewall is installed transparently on a network segment. The installation will be done by binding two interfaces into a single set. 10. What is a layer 2 deployment mode? Answer. In the layer 2 deployment mode, multiple interfaces are configured into a virtual switch or VLAN in L2 mode. 11. What is a layer 3 deployment mode? Answer. In the layer 3 deployment mode, Traffic is routed by a firewall across multiple interfaces. To do this, each interface needs to be assigned an IP address. Besides, a virtual router also needs to be defined to route the traffic. 12. What are the features Palo Alto supports when it is in virtual wire mode? Answer. When in virtual wire mode, Palo Alto supports features such as 1. App ID 2. Decryption 3. Content ID. 4. User ID. 5. NAT. 13. What is App ID? Answer. App ID is the short form for application identification. It is the main component in Palo Alto. The responsibility of App ID is to identify the applications, which traverse the firewalls independently. 14. What are the benefits of using Panorama in Palo Alto? Answer. There are multiple benefits to using Panorama. Some of these benefits include 1. You can update the software in bulk with a single click. 2. You can get a complete report, which enables you to validate the compliance status. 3. You can use Panorama logs from managed services, which enables solving logging issue. 15. What is a virtual router in Palo Alto? Answer. A virtual router is a function of the firewall which is a part of layer 3 routing. 16. What is a virtual system in Palo Alto? Answer. A virtual system is an exclusive and logical firewall in Palo Alto. Being an independent firewall, 
The traffic in a virtual system is kept separate. 17. What is the endpoint security in Palo Alto? Answer. Endpoint security ensures the protection of individual access points in the network and sensitive data. It is a process, which illustrates techniques, tools, and applications or products, which can be used to protect devices including computer systems, laptops, smartphones, etc. 18. What is a single-pass processing architecture? Answer. Single-pass processing architecture operates only once on a packet. Similarly, activities such as policy lookup, application identification, networking functions, and decoding, and signature matching are also will be performed only once when a packet is processed. Even the content is also scanned only once in the single-pass processing architecture. 19. What is a zone protection profile? Answer. Using the zone protection profile, you can get protection from attacks such as flood, reconnaissance, and packet-based attacks, etc. It provides you protection from flood attacks such as SIN, ICMP, and UDP, etc. The reconnaissance protection enables you to defend against port scans and host sweeps. In the case of packet-based protection, you can get protection from large ICMP packets and ICMP fragment attacks. 20. What is the functioning of Palo Alto Wildfire? Answer. Palo Alto Wirefire highlights the threats that need more attention using a threat intelligence prioritization feature called Autofocus. It is a cloud-based service, which provides malware sandboxing. 21. What are active, passive and active, active modes in Palo Alto? Answer. These are the modes in which Palo Alto can be configured. Here is a brief of these modes. 1. Active, passive. This mode is supported in deployment types including virtual wire, layer 2, and layer 3. 1. In this mode, the configuration settings are shared by both the firewalls. 1. In case, the active firewall fails, the passive firewall becomes active and maintains the network security. 2. Active, active. This mode is supported in deployment types including virtual wire and layer 3. 2. In this mode, both the firewalls work synchronously and process the traffic. 22. What is a HA in Palo Alto? Answer. HA is the short form of high availability. The HA is a deployment type in which two firewalls are placed together and configuration is synchronized. This is done to prevent a single point of failure in the network. This HA deployment enables redundancy and ensures the continuity of the business. In case, one firewall fails, the other one ensures maintaining the security of the traffic. 23. What are HA1 and HA2 in Palo Alto? Answer. HA1 and HA2 have dedicated HA ports. HA1 is a control link whereas HA2 is a data link. These links are used by firewalls to synchronize the data and maintain state information. 24. What is Halite in Palo Alto? What are its capabilities? Which are the features not available in HA Lite? Answer. The high availability feature on the PA200 is called HA Lite in Palo Alto. The HA Lite provides a lighter version of HA capabilities. Some of the capabilities of HA Lite include DHCP lease information, PP PO lease information, AP high availability without session sync, failover of IPSC tunnels, configuration sync, and layer 3 forwarding tables. Some of the features that are not available in HA include Jumbo frames, link aggregation, AA high availability, and AP high availability with session synchronization. 25. What is application incomplete in Palo Alto? Answer. The application incomplete can be understood as, either the three-way TCP handshake is not completed or it is completed but there was no data to identify the application after the handshake. That was it for this video. See you in the next video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.